Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I'm your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we'll be reacting to ReZero Season 2, Episode 23. And in the last episode, we start off pretty much where we left off at the mansion with Garfield and Frederica facing off against Elsa. And then Garfield pretty much tells Frederica, you can go on ahead, catch up with the others, I'll take care of this clown. And so right now we have Garfield facing Elsa one on one. I really hope we get to see them like really duke it out. I hope we don't just skip ahead and like Elsa wins or Garfield wins. I want to see them throw hands. But when it comes to Frederica, she actually did manage to catch up to everyone. And by the time she caught up, everyone else had bumped into the second threat at the mansion, which was none other than Mei Lee. I think that's her name. And she's the girl that like either summons or controls mob beasts. So she's a pretty big threat as well. But Frederica pretty much did the Garfield and said, you guys go on ahead. I'll take care of this clown. So right now, Frederica versus Melee and Garfield versus Elsa. And that's pretty much everything that happens at the mansion. There was a pretty lengthy conversation between Subaru and Biko, but we didn't end up getting anywhere. It actually ended with Subaru getting ejected from the library. So hopefully Biko comes around and hopefully she either opens the door and lets us back in or she comes out herself and joins us at the end of the day. But outside of that, we head back over to the sanctuary and here something very interesting happens. Happens. So of course, Amelia is taking her second trial, which we know is the present trial, and her trial is very different from Subaru's. So for Subaru, we pretty much relived through all of the different timelines that he had died in, but we kind of got to see what happened after he died. And we saw that there were scenes where Amelia was heartbroken, uh, Rem was heartbroken, and so many of his friends, and this kind of taught Subaru to be more, I guess, cautious or not cautious what's the word i'm looking for i guess um to be more considerate of those around him he can't just die all willy-nilly and loop left and right because every time that he dies and loops he could be potentially leaving his friends from that timeline like heartbroken and devastated without him so since then, Subaru pretty much said like, all right, no more looping. This is the timeline and we are taking this one all the way to the end. Now for Amelia, hers was different because she pretty much got an alternate timeline, a timeline where Fortuna had survived her encounter with Pandora and Petalgeuse had maintained his sanity. So we see those two and Amelia all sitting down at this picnic blanket. They're all having a good time chatting it up. It's almost like a dream. And then Amelia is given this question, which is if she could choose whether she would continue in this timeline or go back and follow the timeline where Fortuna survives, which timeline would she choose? And she chose the current timeline that we're in right now. And while explaining her reasoning, we actually see Echidna behind her. And for the first time ever in this entire series, we see Echidna express some sort of emotion. Now, before now, she's always been seen as this kind of selfish or kind of cold character. I always saw her as like the perfect businesswoman. She gets what she wants and there's no feelings or anything attached. But for this one time, in this one time only, we got to see Echidna cry for the first time. And then she leaves immediately after. And hopefully we can find out about how she truly feels about this current situation and how she truly feels about Amelia. So we have that to look forward to. Hopefully we can get that before the end of this season. But anyways, if you guys are ready, let's jump right into this. If you guys are excited for the episode, make sure to leave a like. It would help me and the video out so much more than you might think so if you could take the time to do that real quick i would very much appreciate it and also consider subscribing to the channel for more weekly re-zero reactions but with that all out of the way let's get right into this episode
All right, so real quick, before we get into the video, in this reaction, I'm going to be trying a new reaction style, which can hopefully make the reaction enjoyable through just this video alone. However, of course, due to copyright, I'm going to have to do some censoring. So if you'd like to enhance your experience or add a little bit more magic to the reaction, I have some recommendations for you guys. The first one, as you can expect, is going to be to watch this through the picture in picture style. And this is very very easy to do on PC and it's also possible to do on mobile as well if you're doing it on PC then this is how I do it at least when I watch reactions what I do is I go on Google Chrome and I use the extension floating player and with that literally all that I have to do is go to the source anime video website that I'm watching click the extension button and then it gives me a little pop-up and then I just drag that pop-up in front of the YouTube video and it should look something like this for you guys this way you can see the whole anime you can hear the whole anime and all you have to do is just press play as soon as the countdown starts however the second recommendation is to please head on over to the cloud crowd public discord there I will have free uncut reactions for you guys so that you can watch my reactions with the anime all in one place so if you like to do that head on over to the discord but anyways i will not take up any more of your time hope you guys enjoy the reaction and without any further ado let's get straight into it all right whenever you guys are ready make sure to grab your source videos pull them up and then get ready to sync them with me because we will be starting episode 23 of season two in three two one go Oh man, we're going right into it. Oh, I almost forgot about the chimera. He revealed himself too. Oh my god! Did he just gouge her eye out? Holy crap! Oh! You know what? That explains it. That explains how she survived Biko's attack in the past. Mm-hmm. Wow. Her wounds heal instantly. I like that attitude. She's trying to play mind games. Don't fall for it. Exactly. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yep, that's our super. <laughs> Man. Yeah, it's not over yet. Oh, wow. It's almost like auto new. <laughs> Let's go, Subaru. You got to do this for them. Ooh. All right, man. Opening time? Ah, of course not. Who was I kidding? <laughs> <laughs> Opening. I haven't heard that name in years. All right, looks like we're facing him head on. But knowing Subaru, he's got a plan. Ooh, okay. Okay. What is that? What was that stuff? It looks a little familiar. Oh my gosh! Oil! Oh, okay, okay. So they're trying to cook this thing alive. Hey, at least we had a backup. 
But yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna be enough. Oh! Dang! That man just dug his own grave. But I guess the fire was enough. That's interesting. Oh no, the entire mansion is in flames! This is bad. And Garfield is- oh no, it's only gonna get worse from here. Oh snap. Subaru is diving headfirst into the flames. Dude, he seems like such a hero right now. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Get her out of there, Subaru. <laughs> it was all Otto's idea. <laughs> Hmm. And there he goes. Now we're back to Amelia. The disaster that is yet to come. So here's the future trial. Already getting into it. Oh, the mansion. Wait, is it? Amelia, she was covered in blood. A potential future. You can still change it. Maybe. Oh, snap. Oh, is that auto? Wow. Dang. Was it Garfield, I think? Bram. And Subaru. Bring back best girl, man. She's been asleep for long enough. Oh, tea time. Where is she at? Let's see. Wow, what if she faces Satila here? Oh, is that Minerva? Oh? I thought I saw it. It is! Oh, snap!
Oh, really? <laughs> Wow. A possible one. See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I guess that's a one way to describe her. Yes, it's because Amelia's built different, man. Yeah, there's no way she'd let that get to her. Not now, at least. Mm -hmm. She knows her mother. Wow. She tearing up too. Her evil plots. Is she referring to her mother? Dude. I'm really starting to think her mother might be Satsula, dude. I mean, I could be dead wrong, but that's really what it's seeming like. Oh. Is that it? I thought she was going to meet all of the witches here. Oh my god, she is just too... She's too sweet, man. You and the other witches. Man, I hope we get to see this. It probably won't happen this season, but I'd love to see them all sit down and have a tea party together. Especially because it's almost like Minerva's like a distant relative to her. Like, not exactly blood-related, but like, she's probably known about Amelia for such a long time. And she clearly cares about her, too. What the heck is this? Oh, the barrier! And there she is. Wow. But it's not a kid now? Why did she ask, who is this? The key, I don't know. <laughs> Dang. Oh my god, that was so adorable, dude. <laughs> Man. 
Emilia is just too precious, dude. Oh, Roswell, maybe? Wow, he did it again. So that leads me to believe that either he won the fight, or maybe he's just doing that because he knows he can't win the fight, and that's like his trump card. But regardless, we know that it's going to bring the rabbits over, so that's not good. No, oh, what the heck is she doing here? Frederica? Oh, okay, they're still throwing hands, alright. So now it's 2v2. Yeah. Transform. It's time, Garfield. Wait, are they actually, like, blood-related? Dang. Oh my god. Oh, dude, I don't think they're ready. I don't think they're ready for Garfield. Wow. It's time. Show them how it's done, Garfield. We got plenty of time in the episode. <laughs> Let her know. All right, we get it. We get it. <laughs> oh, okay. She's calling him for backup. But Frederica, she's got the support down pack. Dang, man. Oh, my God. Dude. Garfield is a demon! And now he's transforming fully. Yeah, get that rock piggy out of here. You don't know who you're dealing with now. Dang. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> so that's the game we're playing here, Garfield. You better run while you can, Melee. Oh, was there like poison in her blade or something? Or maybe he just exhausted? Ah, I see, I see. He exhausted himself. Vampire. Wow. Oh, backstory time.
during a blizzard. Oh, and she took him out. Wow. Don't tell me she did some weird stuff, like crawled inside of his corpse or something. But dang, so that's how it all started. Dang, get in line. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see about that. Here we go. Back to throwing hands again. Oh my god! Dude, Garfield is landing the meanest hits. If it wasn't for her ridiculous healing factor, she'd be long gone. Oh, she got distracted. Frederica saved her, though. Oh, up close and personal now. Got her in the neck. Oh, they're biting each other. Oh, man. Oh, dude. Oh, is his hand like stabbed through the glass? It's not healing. Why is that? Oh. Dang, he doesn't even need to transform. Yeah, I don't know if your healing factor can cover this. Here we go. Her final moments. Jeez, man. They didn't hold back at all. They saw it like... You saw her body slowly crunch up like that? Jeez. Wow. Wow. Puck does not look happy about that. Oh. Oh.
Backward facing. And he can't let it go. Betty. Dang. Oh, dang. Roswell, dude. He's got some speed to him. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Yep, yep, he thinks that she's just here for revenge. Both eyes, dude. See, this is all for you, Roswell. Dude, he can't accept it. He can't even comprehend what's going on right now. I mean, this is heartwarming and all, but poor Garfield, man. What the heck? <laughs> all right. Oh, so maybe Puck was the one that... No. Hmm. Oh no! No way! Oh my god! <laughs> Dang! I mean, but for a second there, <laughs> Puck was looking terrifying. Yeah, there's no way that was the real one. Oh my god, Roswell. He's really no joke. Alright, behind you. Ooh! Did she not? Wait, did she not actually hit him? Because even he was surprised. The buck! Oh, snap! Toss that thing in the flames! There's no way he's going to let her get rid of it. You gotta let the past go, man. Let's go. Watch it burn. There's nothing you can do now, Roswell. Yeah, I knew it. God, man. 
Are you serious? And then they're gonna end it there? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, dude, what? Oh my, ah. That's just, ah, oh, dude, come on. <sighs> Poor Ram, man. This dude, Roswell, man, was so obsessed with this book. He freaking burned her alive for destroying the book. And I mean, of course, we're not 100% sure if she's dead or not. But, like, there's no way he didn't put everything that he could into that final blast. And we saw her body go flying. Jesus, man. Roswell, dude, what a cornball. <laughs> man, that's some... That's so dumb, man. It's so crazy how tightly he's holding on to the past. And he's just refusing to move forward with his life. He's just... He's, he's too wrapped up in the past, man. Amelia's gone. Ryuzu is gone. Like, dude, what? 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 I get it. Like, of course, he cares a lot about Echidna. He cared a lot about Echidna. She was the first person he's ever fallen in love with. And then she unfortunately passed away. And that book was like his last, I guess, part of her that he still had with him. And now that she's burned it, now that Ram has burned the book, that was kind of like her destroying the last piece of Echidna that he still had with him. And that's why he was angry. But, oh my God, it's just like, it seems like Roswell is so tunnel visioned on the past that he can't, he doesn't care about anything else. He doesn't care about Ram. He doesn't care about Amelia. He doesn't care about Subaru. He doesn't care about any of them. The only person he has his eyes set on is already dead. So it's like Roswell, he's not even living his life right now. He's just dedicating the rest of the time that he has here to I guess do whatever he can to preserve the past, but man, Roswell is just, I don't know, man. How do you guys, I guess that'll be my question of the day for you guys. How do you guys feel about Roswell? Cause me personally, like, I don't know this entire time, not this entire time, but like, I guess up until season two, I always thought that Roswell was just kind of this like, you know, badass magician that kind of held back, never really went all out because he's too powerful. And if he ever did go out, it'd have to be for like some serious occasion. And uh, he seemed like a pretty nice guy up until season two, where we learn about all of the scummy things that he's done. And it's like, you'd think that Echidna kind of contracting Beatrice to sit inside of this library for who knows for like an infinite number of years looking for someone that didn't even exist you'd think that was bad but I feel like what Roswell did was infinitely worse like he it feels like he never learned his lesson and I mean this isn't the end of him so of course there's still room for him to learn his lesson but like the fact that it took Ram like literally sacrificing herself if he does learn the lesson it would have taken ram throwing her life away to teach him that lesson which is kind of sad but i i me personally i'm not cool with roswell i do not like roswell i think he definitely brings a very interesting element into the story i think as a villain he's a fantastic villain but when it comes to his character and how likable I think he is, nah, not at all, not at all. I can't imagine anyone 
cheering for Roswell in his corner, especially after this episode. Especially after finding out how he took advantage of Amelia like this. Like, I can't imagine anyone cheering for him in his corner. But let me know. Hey, if you do, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'd love to find out. But anyways, phenomenal episode. Outside of that, phenomenal episode, dude. We got to see Garfield. Like, in the beginning, I said, I hope we get to see Garfield and Elsa throw hands. And man, did they throw hands. We really got to see just how disgustingly powerful Garfield is. Even without transforming, he was able to lift that massive, like, rock hippo thing and chuck it at her and crush Elsa to death. We saw that scene where, like, with one arm, he ended up, like, swiping and just splitting Elsa's body in half. Man, we saw him twist the hippo's neck and just... God. Garfield is on demon time, man. <laughs> He is not playing around but we got to see that um i wonder what melee's future is gonna look like after this are we gonna have to kill her too or is she actually gonna have a change of heart especially after seeing her sister like die right in front of her who knows where she's gonna go from here but man and then right now, Subaru, as we speak, is running into the flames to try to save Biko. Man, what a hero, dude. And the way that he kind of told everyone to go on without him. He was like, you guys go on ahead. Biko's still in there. And I'm the only one that can bust her out of there. Dude, what a fantastic episode. Like, I feel like I've said that so many times this season that I don't even know. I might, like... I don't know, I think it'd be pretty interesting to kind of rate my favorite episodes. I think that'd be really cool. But, at least currently, like, this has to be top three, right? This has to be like top three best episodes. It had action, it pulled or tugged on your heartstrings. Like, it was, it had it all. It had it all. And also that moment with Minerva and Amelia. And uh, the, we got to see the, the little hey <laughs> and she like smashed the casket. What a phenomenal episode. Just, just round of applause. Everyone, real quick, just give a round of applause to the writers behind this. And also the animators for taking the light novel or the manga, I don't know what material they're using, and translating it so phenomenally into an animation i think this is an amazing work re-zero is a top tier anime and i'm done talking you guys' ear off and so i am going to end the episode there thank you all so so much for watching this far into the video if you did make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed comment your thoughts on the episode down below and subscribe for more slice shiny content and with that i am going to head out so i'll catch you all in the next one have a good one